So, Sarah, your group, the Republican Accountability Project, is out with a new political ad in response to the former president's third indictment. It'll run all week in swing states on programs the former president is known to watch. Let's take a look. You have to get your people to fight. And we fight. Because you'll never take back our country with weakness. We fight like hell. We will never concede. If you don't concede with this step, we're going to walk down to the Capitol, and I'll be there with you. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. So, Sarah, I'm looking at where you're airing this ad, and frankly, it's places that are not hearing that version of the truth about what actually happened on January 6th and who was responsible on shows like Hannity, on Fox News, and also in states including Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, and Wisconsin, all of which are named in this 45-page indictment as places where the former president of the United States meddled, interfered to try to overturn the results of the election. Yeah, that's right. I mean, look, Donald Trump, the indictments, they actually help him with these sort of hardcore Trump voters. Um, but it does hurt him often with swing voters or people who might be persuadable. And so, you know, obviously there is we've seen in the latest polling, Donald Trump and Joe Biden are in an essential uh, polling tie. And that is deeply frightening. And so what you have to do is remind voters who Donald Trump is. Remind him that this is the guy who tried to overturn an election. And we're going to have to remind them over and over and over again. One thing I saw in all of the focus groups I do is that during the January 6th committee hearings, you did see some real slippage uh, in support for Trump. And so elevating the salience of what he did on January 6th, reminding people how terrible that was, uh, we wanna continue to keep that in voters' minds so that they remember who this guy is.